Mr. the counter beat the gold Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're going to be checking out some sweet Bushwick gameplay. Now this is the Survivor Sniper unit that came alongside the Luchador unit. It was an exclusive unit that was given to all of the beta players along with anyone who visited the World Domination booth at PAX East this year. So it's a really cool little unit. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys right here. There it is. It's a really awesomely designed, kind of a little hipster unit you could say. He's a really cool looking sniper. He's really awesome. He is a rare unit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the stats, perks, and his fun little summary. But let me go ahead and train him up because I'm going to actually evolve him to level 10 during this episode. So there we go. We can go ahead and promote him. Let's go ahead and start the training off here. So he's going to go ahead and start training 13 hours and 41 minutes. That's a long time. But let's go ahead and check out his stats here. So all units. Bushwick. So he's a rare unit. The skinny jeans in dis affected attitude only spurn bushwick towards more long-range killing very powerful long-range unit targets large enemies first cannot fire at units in melee range so honestly to me this seems similar to a skinned sharpshooter with that very powerful long-range uh, unit um let's go ahead and check out the stats here so damage is 330 sitting at level 9 compared to my level 10 sniper the damage is 323, so he definitely has more damage to not being evolved and stuff like that. So he's going to have a little bit more power than your average sniper. Um, in, in accordance with a sharpshooter, I'm not sure because I don't think I have a sharpshooter here on my uh, lower account. So I can't really check that out, but let's just say he's going to be a pretty strong sniper to have on your team. So it's going to be, if you guys actually have him, you guys are pretty lucky ducks. Uh, we're going to get in some gameplay in just a moment here. But if we look at the perks here, they're going to be very, very similar to the sniper's perks, as you can see here. Um, first ones, you're going to have bolt action, which is the decrease in cooldown, along with the semi-auto perk here. And so on as we kind of go down, if you all want to quickly read those. There they are. And then if you look at these um, very similar perks, I think they're the exact same, I believe. Yeah, I think there's, so no really um, noticeable difference in perks or the stats either you know he's going to be a little bit more powerful unit so let's go ahead and check out some gameplay because that's pretty much the most important thing so i'm actually going to check out the faction war that's going out right now it's going to be at paris here uh let's see i got some let's see what my team power sitting at 970 can we handle that no chance let's go ahead and just go on easy just kind of get a good look at it so paris is for survivors so yeah guys um not haven't looked too much at this unit just yet but i'm pretty excited to um play around with him he's going to be a really helpful sniper i think with taking out some of those big tanky units like titans and things he's going to be able to cause a little bit more damage than the average sniper which is going to help a lot because sometimes those colossus or titans going to have a little bit more damage on you guys so here we go let me go ahead and throw down bushwick right here let's get a close look boom here we go down goes bushwick so he is a pretty beast uh, little unit here i'm gonna throw down a group of three snipers right there and i'm gonna go ahead and throw down let's see where are the bulk of my guys coming down you know what? i'm gonna go ahead and put a machine gunner over here and then i'm gonna go ahead and put a commando here with the trusty combat medic lumberjack combo so let's go ahead and move them over just a bit to get a good little vantage point there so they're moved over into a very pretty good spot there uh, let's go ahead and check out this other area here. So we're going to be getting a couple of tight situations here soon. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on a contractor just to get a good solid look there. So it looks like they're going to have to get through this wall, but that form is going to have that extra strength against those buildings. So he's going to go ahead and knock that down in one shot, I feel like. One more and about to go down. Boom. So the form and get through and it's about to get crazy. So... There they go, Lumberjacks up front, Commando's just doing damage, and they're just going to town on those guys right there. So here we go, first area coming in here. We got tons of snipers chilling in the back, going to take down those foremen, no shot, no problem whatsoever. Down they go, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to go ahead and throw down this combat medic just as a distraction, you could say. Here we go, we got a Lumberjack, I'm going to flare them back and stim them up. Give him a little bit more power there to start taking them out. Let's get a commando just chilling back here to help out taking some drones. And I'm going to throw down a new Bushwick unit right over here with the machine gunner. Now that is going to be mainly so we can kind of get a good look and see what the gameplay is going to look like with him. So as you can see, very similar use. He's got a pretty nice little animation there looking pretty cool. Just standing straight up, just sniping people away, taking down those big tanky units 
easy peasy no problem whatsoever one shot they go down they don't have a chance guys so let's go and check out this area over here tons of drones coming in crazy stuff going down on this end over here i'm gonna go ahead and throw down a uh let's go ahead and throw down that molotov cocktail there flare these guys over here just a bit put down a machine gunner back over to the side to help take out those guys throw down a second commando and a combat medic to help to take out the last bit of drones and infectors and mutated zombies down they go 225 trophies easy peasy lemon squeezy no problem whatsoever guys so we completed that unit so bushwick is a really cool i like him he's a really sweet little unit i enjoy seeing him playing out there i really love the skin now some of these exclusive units yeah they're clearly just a skin unit like the trooper and things like that and including the luchador but we're getting some really awesome new units coming up in update 3.4 which i'm really excited to try out because they're going to be pretty darn cool with some new really cool perks so here we go let's get it one more attack and to get a good look at him so let's go ahead and just go on uh, normal here. Nothing too crazy. Not going to go out of my way. Let's go ahead and borrow the level 11 fire chief. Let's go ahead and fight. Because honestly, guys, uh, I think we got enough sniper power with the bushwick. So here we go. We're going to go on. So next wave here. Looks like we're going to have some foreman, um, biohazards, morticians, infectors, foreman, your average little squad, you know. So let me go ahead and put down my bushwick back here to help deal with all those guys along with my sniper who I'm going to go put on this end over here. Boom. So for the first little group, I'm going to go ahead and actually put a pretty simple little loadout. I'm going to put down my combat medic and lumberjack back here and then let's put a contractor down there. So I'm going to really draw a lot of my guys, a lot of these drones very close to the objective just because uh, I want to have that machine gunner just pretty much go to town on all of those guys. So over here, we're going to do something somewhat similar. I'm going to go ahead and put down a fire chief there with a commando to help kind of take off, take care of most of those units. The sniper in the back will help take out the foreman, and then we'll just kind of deal with them for there. So we got a bushwick on this side to help deal with all of the big tank units. So here comes some drones just wa waltzing down the road here. Looks like bushwick's taking out a couple of them here and there, but then, uh, he's just kind of waiting for the foreman to walk on down, and boom, down goes that foreman. Bushwick just goes to town, so we got two more for him to deal with. Not going to be a problem, I don't think. Not at all. So down goes that last foreman, and the and that lumberjack and handyman are just pretty much going to town there. Let me go ahead and stim those guys up because they're going to need a little bit more help here in just a moment. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw down a second fire chief along with a contractor for this back pad. Now it's getting a little hairy down here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a combo. <laughs> A commando right there and I'm gonna go ahead and throw down my trusty combo as well with another bushwick on this side and another sniper on that side so it looks like we're doing pretty darn well <laughs> combat medic barely holding on not gonna lie just barely hanging on looks like I'm gonna go ahead and throw down another fire chief to go down with there with that lumberjack now we just got to take out a couple of these uh big big broody tanks but we got two uh, bushwicks down here let's go ahead and check them out so both Bushwicks pretty much just going to town here. Sweet animations, looking good, just taking down those guys left and right. So they're varied because they're not on their knees, so they got a cool little uh, difference there. Pretty sweet to kind of individualizing them from the other units. So down go a couple drones there, and we look looks like we are going to be good to go there. But yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this awesome Bushwick game, gameplay video. I hope you did enjoy. But guys, thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.